Let's see what's going on. The first fight is MMA at 66 kilograms. Three rounds of five minutes. In the red corner, from Cameroon, fighting for Guru Team, please welcome Terence Samir! <laughs> Facing him in the blue corner, fighting for Team Najmedin from Kyrgyzstan, Atabek Adimi Talipov! Hey, hello, King Manaskilgindi, Wokjang Nangarayu, Soljang Nangarayu, Arsenal Manas Batter than Yerminuswe, I want to have to Zaragus. All right, gentlemen, you know the rules, right? Watch your back, punch him in the back of the head, below the belt, wave my instructions at all times, protect yourself at all times. Step clear, touch gloves, step back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hard Knocks Fight Night 8 here at the Crown Plaza on Yas Island. I'm joined here by Merv Maholland. Merv. Good to see you, bud. Yes, man. Good to be back. Uh, definitely looking forward to tonight's fights. Loads, loads of, loads of smashing fights come up. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Here, we're about to get started with the first fight. Obviously, an MMA fight with Terence, the Shadow King, and uh, a guy you're familiar with, Merv. Yeah, Arabek. Uh, great guy. Had quite a few amateur fights. I think he was six and six and one amateur back in uh, his home country in Kyrgyzstan. He just says to give a big shout out to Batkin, Kyrgyzstan, which is his city. There you go. Um, looking nice and composed, both fighters here. Nobody's rushing in, both of them just sort of feeling out the first round here. Yeah, so having a quick chat with Terence uh, yesterday. We we're expecting him to try and keep the fight standing. He's uh, had about 19 or so amateur, uh, amateur MMA fights. He's 0-1 in the pros division. So uh, 
yeah, he's not keen on taking the fight down. He likes to keep it standing. Your boy's looking quite long, so uh, interesting to see what comes off for this, mate. Yeah, I mean, Adebek, he's a big, big 66 fighter. Yeah, he looks uh, huge. Like, for that weight category, he's much bigger than most of the other guys there. Um, great wrestler, so he has. He comes from wrestling background, but also comes with a, a punch as well. So, yeah. yeah, I'm super excited to see. It's his uh, first matchup since he's been here in the UAE, and... Uh, it's uh, great to see him on hard knocks for his first one. Both of them quite aggressive with their leg kicks initially. I'll be interested as a wrestler to see, obviously, as, as the fight's in the ring, whether he's going to try and utilise that wrestling skill. Yeah. It's uh, definitely a lot different for him fighting up in a, in a ring here. As Ooh, uh, looks stunned oh. there, and another one. Otterbeck okay, finding, so. finding the head early. Yeah. Terence looked a little Ooh. rock there on that last one, but he does. But he's coming back strong. Coming back strong. A nice indeed. leg kick on the way out there. He's a big man for 66, isn't he? That yeah, he's definitely got the reach advantage here, so he has. Almost finding a home for that up kick there. Terence has him backed up against, and well, Adebeck's back off the ropes. <clears throat> Both guys using the leg kicks nicely. Yeah. Just trying to slow their opponent down. <clears throat> he wants to keep his hands up when he's throwing that big wide shot there, doesn't he, Terence? He might get caught. Yeah. Adebek seems happy enough to be standing here. I actually thought he would have took it to the ground a little sooner. Again, but being in the ring, it might change his game plan a bit. Yeah, for sure. Because you don't have that same pressure where you can just push forward and... Yeah, it certainly push. makes it a different type of fight. Yeah. Oh, here we go, we there might be wrong. And down we go. Take down. I'm gonna tag you in here, Merv. <laughs> so we'll just get Adebek here sitting in uh, side control and Terence just trying to muscle him over there, but Adebek's Great, great base there on the ground, and uh, just spreading his weight nicely. He's staying nice and composed, not rushing himself here. <coughs> Let's see where he moves. If I was him, I, I'd say he'd move the knee on belly and throw a few shots. Terence is active on the bottom here. He landed a couple of elbows there to uh, Otterbeck's midsection. So definitely looking to stay active. Oh, oh and Adebeck standing back up and just letting him come up. Yeah, Terence, Terence throwing them shots definitely uh, made him think about throwing his attacks. Think. Exactly, yeah. If Terence keeps his hands down there, I think Adebeck might look for that head kick again. He's a durable man though, Terence. He keeps coming forward, even after being rocked a few times. Yeah, well, if you've uh, like 19 amateur fights, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's definitely a lot of experience. Yeah. So it is. It's it's not like it's his first time in there. I don't think it's an easy fight. Referee Kelly just making sure the guys don't go out through the ropes. Oh, just missed. Well, back and forth first round. Yeah, definitely back and forth. Uh, I think I would definitely be inclined to give that to Adebeck just for his uh, forwardness and, uh, and the take down. He, and the take he landed down, a bit course, more. Yeah. Uh, bit more damage there yeah. as well. And, and of course got a, a takedown on two. Was it two takedowns? Yeah, two takedowns. And although he didn't really utilize him that, yeah. that well when he took him down. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this next round. Terence has got quite an interesting story actually. He uh, came over to UAE initially to be a cleaner in the UFC gym. And now here he is, 19 Round amateur fights later, on
on uh, professional fight cards. Quite, quite yeah. a story. He comes from Cameroon, came over to be a cleaner, and here he is. Having a dig. <laughs> good job, Terrence. Good job. Focus. Focus. It's like for sure they'll make a film about something like this, I'm where sure. a guy's like cleaner, finds his love for fighting, and then <laughs> I'm sure makes his way to fighting professional. Both guys just feeding each other out. Terence coming out, standing southpaw here. <clears throat> Finding a nice home for that leg kick. Adebeck looking for the takedown again. Oh, nice. Like, well, two fights from Adebeck. There but by uh, Terrence. Yeah, but Terrence straight back up. Looks strong. Oh, and Terrence has the mount. Adebeck just shaking him off. Working around into that side control again. Let's hope we can do a bit more with it. Oh. Is that the crucifix he's got there? Oh, no. Almost, he just Almost. didn't have that forearm trapped. But there he's got the knee on belly. Yeah. If he postures here, he's great position to just throw some shots. Okay. Terrence trying to hold him down just to break his posture. Seems quite composed here at the top, Otterbeck. Yeah. Even with a couple of answers from Ter Terence on the bottom. <laughs> Terence needs to just be careful with his arms. So. Ooh, nice. Straight back to his feet. Seems like Adebeck's having a bit of a hard time holding him, holding him down. Yeah, he's certainly making it competitive, Terence. Yeah. Looks strong. Ooh, oh, big, big, shot there. big right hand. Straight over. Can he capitalise on this? How hurt is Terence? I've seen Adebeck throws quite nice front kicks, but I've yet to see him throw them. Yeah, he threw that one in the first round and, and, yeah. and just missed, and he hasn't seemed to go back to that yet. He wasn't far off it as well. Yeah. Oh. We might get a bit of action ourselves down here now, mate. <laughs> like a four-way brawl. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave that to you, boys. Let's keep it three. Both guys just in a bit of a clinch. This round they both seem to have forgotten about the leg kicks. Yeah, both of them looking for that, that head shot. And they certainly are. The, <laughs> both the, looking the, for the big right. The money finish. This isn't a great place to be in the in a ring, both of them in the corner. I wouldn't be surprised if Kelly sort of brings it back to the middle here. Terence landed some shots though. See, Adebex get like a Kimura type grip there. Oh, he's let go, he's went for the leg. This is where he should go. He needs to start working. He needs to get out of here because Terence is banking some body shots. Yeah. And although they don't look like much from here, but when you're under them, they definitely take their tool. Otterbeck needs to start looking at being a bit more active, I think. Yeah. Try and Either. get out from underneath. Either get out or just try to stand back up. Oh, there we go. Kelly's jumping in. Good, good job good by shout. the ref. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there was too much happening there, so I think he was right to bring it up. Again, we mentioned it already. The MMA in the ring is a completely different game. It's yeah. not like he's got the advantage of leaning on the cage. So I'd say a good call from the referee there. Yeah. Not much was happening. Yeah, I don't think it was going, going to go anywhere either. But you can see a little bit of Wilton starting to show on Adebeck's ribs there from Terence's elbows there on the ground. Yeah. Down the, the left side of his ribs. Adebeck landing the takedown again. Let's see if he can utilize this position. Oh, only 10 seconds left. I might be posturing to throw some shots and at least try to 
finish with some damage because I would say he's lost that, that second round. You'd say Otterbeck's lost that second round? Yeah. Round or if they leave it up to the judges. Round three. Nice, nice. Terence out with the up kick. Good job. And knocking out Otterbeck's mouth guard. Didn't quite see that move. They had their back to us then, actually, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it landed or if it just kind of clipped him and his, his mouth guard fell out or if it hit him quite hard, but or, or he is, doesn't seem too fused by it. Or is Otterbeck tired and wanting to buy a little bit more time? Possibly. Like, it's been quite a while from he's had a fight, so maybe a little bit of ring rust there. Good overhand right then, though. Ooh. Uh, Terrence straight back with his own. Oh, put him on the way up. I think Otterbeck needs to keep it long because he's finding those shots when he yeah. keeps it long and not smothering his work. See, again, another good shot on the way in. He's throwing the shots and then coming in and almost killing his own opportunity. Yeah, smothering himself. I think if he was to stand back and pick them shots, he would definitely uh, take, take... I think that will come with the experience. He's only... Uh, this is his second MMA fight, right? So Sec Second pro fight, like I say, I think he had uh, six amateur fights back in his own country. Right. Um, but yeah, he's been here almost two years now without without a fight. So that that time out and also with the, like not loads of experience, yeah. that time out, even at the, the highest levels, you see guys coming back slightly like ring rust they say you know yeah 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 let's see what he can do now he's oh. past the guard landed a big elbow landed a big elbow there. oh a couple more big elbows he doesn't like the look of this Terence are Terrence we going to get the finish he's uh, trying to get himself out through the ropes there hoping so the ref stands him up Kelly stops it instead of standing them up Adebek needs to just keep working them elbows yeah or oh big elbows I think that's about time the ref oh no he's giving his back yep. is that going to be choke. Game over. Yeah. I think. And he's got that super deep. I'm sure Terence is out. No, he's fighting, trying to fight the the elbow off the chin. It looks like he might get escape from that one. Let's see how much squeeze Otterbeck's got in him. He's just on his chin down in there nicely. He's doing quite well to defend that, Terence. Oh, oh he's managed and to Adebex escape. Give up. He's a tough man, Terence. Yeah, Took he's some definitely not going away easy. Oh, and he's straight back in. It looks a little bit deeper this time. But he's peeling the arm, working, working how he should be. That looks Adebex, tight. It looks tight. That looks tight. There it is, he's out, I think, is he? No, he's still fighting the hands. No. Yeah. yeah. So hard to see from here with their backs to us. Yeah. He definitely doesn't want to go out, does he? No, he is not making this easy. He is not. Good on him. Oh. Nice, Adebeck needs to look. Still got that body lock, that body triangle. What can he do with it? 
He's going to flatten him out, flatten him out again. <laughs> Looks like Terence is trying to get himself out of the ring there to get it back to the middle. Adebek just needs to watch them shots for the back of the head. Turn around to show us what's going on, Merv. I think they must have heard you. <laughs> <coughs> I think that's good refereeing by uh, Kelly also, not just standing it up. Yeah. Adebeck's in a super dominant position here, so he is. He's doing a great if, job of defending that. So that if he sat up, choke. he could get almost like a reverse guillotine from the uh, body lock. I've only seen it done like one or two times, though, so whether, whether he knows it or not. <laughs> Ten seconds left of the fight here. Is he going to get that finish? Fair play, Terry. Still staying yeah. active. Well done, mate. Good job. Brilliant fight. Real, real well matched. Very, yeah. very. I uh, definitely thought Adebek was going to win that one a little easier than what. Honestly, so did I. After seeing them both on the scales yesterday. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, he's a big guy for 66, but then maybe just that experience for Terence at the 19 fights. Amateur, one and, uh, pro, it's like... Uh, and his durability. And he's tough. He was very tough. He was yeah. very tough. He didn't want to give up right until the end then. Yeah. Defended that rear naked choke really well. Yeah. Great fight to start off the night. There anyway. we go, mate. Yeah. One down, seven left. Well, that's enough of us for now. We'll end over to Stewie and we'll carry on with the proceedings. So ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let's give it up for both of our fighters in our first fight. Well done, guys. But it has gone to the judge's decision. And the judges have decided unanimously it's a win for the blue corner. Atabek. Abdimitalipal.